every time I do my makeup, I feel like there's like little bits of cat hair because Snicks like climbs on my desk and stuff. So I'm like constantly looking in the mirror thinking that there's cat hair on me. Anyway, hello, welcome to this week's vlog and welcome to Monday afternoon. I really love the smell of this setting spray. Setting spray is just one of those things I haven't really been using because I don't really need my makeup to last when I have to take it off and we're not really going outside if you know what I mean but it smells really good and I really like the mist it's very fine and I know I just the scent is just so fresh I showered last night washed my hair and I'm actually so excited for this vlog because later this week I'm getting my hair done and I think I'm going to be doing something kind of dramatic I mean dramatic for me there was a cat hair I was right god I'm so itchy <laughs> Especially when you have a dewy foundation. Anyway, yeah, this week, later this week on Wednesday, I'm getting my hair done and I'm so excited. I don't have a set plan for everything, but I do know that I want to go somewhat darker. So we'll have to talk to Jordi and see what that actually looks like on my hair. I'm just like super into the idea of getting my hair super healthy because I want to grow it long. Right now, obviously it's curled, so it's like a little bit harder to tell, but when it's straight, it's like just past my nipples. And I want to get it a little bit longer. Also, because I have like some of these pieces that are a little bit shorter and <laughs> I don't like layers, I don't like bangs, I don't like layers, I don't like any of that. I like straight, blunt, cross. And so I really just wanna get it healthy. And also too, it's just been so long since I've had closer to my natural hair color, like the top of my hair, like this is my natural hair color, the dark here. It's so funny, I have my hair up in a do, a do for dance and like three people came up to me and they're like, oh my God, I didn't recognize you from the back. Your hair's so dark. I've never seen you with dark hair. Cause like most people in my life, like, just haven't seen me with my like natural hair if that makes sense because it's been a really long time since I've had it so yeah I'm into the idea of getting my hair super healthy taking my collagen my vitamins and also doing like extra treatments for my hair so last night I tried a rice water rinse where you just basically put rice in a bowl add some water let it soak and then take the water and use that as a rinse and let it sit for 10 minutes and supposed to help with like growth and vitamins and shininess and all that kind of stuff and uh I might do that like, I don't know, I don't wash my hair that often, so I might do that like once a week. Yeah. So we'll see what happens later in the week. Also too, I just want to get out, I feel like a lot of the pieces in my hair are super warm and like kind of orangey toned. Like last night when I was like blow drying my hair and I had my ends up, like the ends are so orange compared to like my hair here. I'd really like to neutralize everything. That way I don't need to focus on toning my hair. When I only wash my hair a couple of times a week, I usually have to do like my purple routine like once and then like something to nourish my hair at the next. And I'd really like to be able to just work on growth and strengthening and nourishing versus also having to tone the brassiness if that makes sense so i want to make it a little bit more manageable and that kind of thing so that's my ramble i have no idea what's happening on wednesday but you will find out in this vlog i just go to start a clip and i noticed how horrible my self tanner is on my arm do you see that what the hell okay i'll keep my arms down i use the tan lux a bronzing mousse I think that's what it's called and it's like a clear one which is great because I can wear clothes and like sleep and not stain things but um you just don't know where you're putting it clearly I didn't put it here so that's good I also just wanted to say thank you all so much for all of the lovely supportive and genuine comments you left on my last vlog I had so much fun replying to those and I just felt so loved from you guys and I just I really really appreciate it I don't think you guys understand like how much you taking the time to leave a comment on my video especially one that's so sweet really just like boosts my spirits and like makes me just so happy so I just wanted to say thank you I really enjoyed replying to those comments and you guys were all so lovely and I just yeah that's it <laughs> I love you guys <laughs> just ran down to grab the mail and I have a package from my parents that I have no idea what's in here and then also another random package so I'm gonna open them Oh yay, this is what I ordered from Amazon. I have been in need of more of these big claw clips. I got a pack of four, four. So I have blue, black, pink, and green. Cause the ones I have just are really, really old, honestly. And none of them really hold all of my hair. So I wanted to get some bigger ones. I'm so excited. I kind of want to try it out. I'll have these linked down below. I feel like this is the pack that everyone buys, but they're so nice. Look at that. The way I have to do this is like go up 
and then bring it back down because I'm doing my chair. Let's see. Not bad. What do we think? I'm pretty happy with that. That's very secure. Okay, I'm impressed. I was hoping these would get here relatively soon because I ordered them a bit ago. And then this package from my parents. <laughs> Last week I said that I was craving my dad's chocolate chip cookies. Guess who sent me cookies? <laughs> That's so nice. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. I know Dad made them, but, you know, Mom probably mailed the package. It's her writing, so... Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so nice. I'm gonna have one. So cute. Excited about these. These are definitely not gluten-free, but I kind of don't care. Really nothing like your, your dad's homemade cookies, you know? Mmm, so good. Thanks for the package. <laughs> it's, it's not gluten-free. I know. Well, thank yeah. you so much for sending them. As soon as I saw that you guys sent me a package, I'm like, there is motherfucking cookies in here, isn't there? <laughs> but I appreciate it. Was, it. it was funny though because I didn't say anything to your dad until, I don't know, he had this cookbook out or something. I said, oh, your daughter wants chocolate chip cookies. He says, well, that's just what I was going to make. I had the book in my hand and you were asking. And then chocolate chip cookies. That's how in tune you were. Yes, of course, of course. Could have put money on it. Y'all, I'm gonna be a whole new person by the end of this vlog, it feels like. I, hi, it's Tuesday. <laughs> um, I'm sitting on the side of the road, parked, obviously, so that's why you hear all the traffic. It just started pouring rain. It was nice when I came into my appointment. I just got out of the eye doctor, and <laughs> your girl can see now. I have contacts in, and I'm so happy. I can, like, see the Tim Hortons across the street in the street sign. What a miracle. You know what I'm excited for? Going to the grocery store and being able to see all the aisles because I haven't been wearing my glasses because they fog up with my mask. So, revolutionary this is. The guy was so nice and it took me so long to figure out because they were like, so you can have the appointment to like learn how to put in the contacts or you can just like, you know, just have the regular appointment and it was like a hundred dollar difference so i'm like i'll figure out how to put them in thanks so much um and then of course i'm there for like 20 minutes at the mirror like this trying to get them in because i've only worn costume contacts so new experience but i got a bunch of different ones to try and then um i come back in like a month and a bit to kind of assess and do a new kind of exam and stuff i'm just so excited to be able to see it dance because now instead of dancing in a studio that's wide whereas i was able to always get a spot in the front now we have this really long beautiful studio and if i'm at the back i cannot see what's going on so this is going to be great i'm not planning on wearing them all the time he did say like get used to them get comfortable like you can wear them every single day and i'm just like i don't know i avoid it but i know i shouldn't so yeah, I'm excited about this and it's gonna take some practice and getting used to and stuff and obviously so many people wear contacts It's just funny to me because I'm like so new to this world the world now that I can see which is really great So if you have any tips for contact wearing let me know down below I asked him if I would put them in and then do my makeup and he said yes So if that's what you do, please let me know because I'm very curious because I can see fine close up and normally I can do my makeup totally fine, but if I'm like struggling to like get something in my eyes are watering, it probably makes sense to put them in first. So anyway, that is what I did this morning and then I have an appointment at the bank later. Might pop in a home sense really quick because why not? But I also kind of want to get a coffee. So I really don't know what's going to happen. I just wanted to update you and tell you that I now can see clearly now. I can see clearly now is what I meant to say. Okay. I apologize that this is the only angle I'm showing you guys in the car, but I don't have a car tripod and also it's pouring rain, so I can't really like bring my camera out to show you guys. But I just got out of the bank. It was a really quick appointment. I basically just wanted to up my credit on my personal visa. And it's so weird because sometimes you'll get an email being like, increase your limit. And then sometimes you have to like do the whole application process, but it was approved right away, which was great because that only happens like 30% of the time. So we're good on that. That was really quick, I'm glad. I did stop at Starbucks before my appointment and I got a, what was it, cold brew with coconut milk and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I panicked when I got up and started ordering because I didn't really know what to get because I mostly like ice drinks, but I usually get like an ice caramel macchiato, but I didn't want the extra sugar. And like the Irish cream cold brew is not available anymore. So if you guys have a good ice drink that you get from Starbucks that's not too heavy in sugar and also has coconut milk or is good with coconut milk please let me know in the comments but it's not bad it's pretty like basic but 
has some pretty good flavor and I think it was cheaper than most of the things I order, which is great. So anyway, all of the errands are done for today. I'm happy, I'm gonna go home. And let me just say, it is so great being able to see everything. It's been so much fun. I'm just like looking around like a little kid being like, wow, everything's so clear. It's fantastic. Some people when they're at home lounging look really cute. That's not me though. <laughs> I look like this. What a cute outfit, especially the pink tie-dye shirt underneath. Really killing it. Also the hair clip. I've been loving them. They've been great. I'm currently doing some laundry because I don't know when it happened, but I now do laundry during the week. So I have laundry to do and I've been watching Sex and the City. I've actually never seen the series. I love the movies and I actually saw them in theaters, I think, when they came out. And so I figured there's only like six, maybe eight seasons. So I really wanted to watch it. And I feel like a lot of people are watching it right now. So I was like, <laughs> might as well hop on the bandwagon. And I also painted my nails. I've really been into black nail polish lately and these Nail polishes from Essie are so good. They're from the Expressy line, so they're quick drying, and this one is the black, so it's now or never. Yeah, it's really nice. And then for base coat, I love the Sally Hansen Pure line because they're vegan, so I like their colors, but I also like their hardener. This is like the base coat that I use, and then also their top coat's really good, but I used the Olive and June top coat today because it's another one of my favorites. The cats were so rambunctious today. They were just like screaming and yelling and fighting and playing so hard. And now they're both tuckered out and sleeping. Quite nice to have them a bit more calm. <laughs> this is probably what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the evening. Gonna try and finish up all the laundry. That way it's done and good and I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week while I also watch the show and I'll make dinner in a bit. We're gonna just have tacos because it's Tuesday and I got new tortillas. They're like flour, coconut flour tortillas. I don't know, they were in the freezer section, they're gluten-free and they weren't cauliflower, so I wanted to try them out because they looked a little bit fun and different. So I'll give you guys an update when we get to that. Sorry if it's loud, the air fryer is currently on and I'm basically air frying some carrots and these are the tortillas. So they're coconut flour tortillas. I had them in the freezer, but you can keep them in the fridge. And these ones were actually cheaper than the cauliflower ones, which is kind of interesting. I'll show you guys the ingredients there. So you can see, and we're gonna see how they heat up. They look really promising though. The texture looks great. I bet they're gonna get a little bit crispy because they're already starting to harden, but like the texture of these are so much better. They're not falling apart like the cauliflower ones. So I'm really excited to see how they taste. Here's a look at the tacos and just a little warning, if you guys don't like coconut, I don't think you're gonna like these tortillas because they smell like coconut when you're up close, so I imagine they taste like it, but we'll find out. So we have the tacos and then also the carrots that kind of resemble fries. I guess technically you could put them in the tacos, but I'm gonna eat them on the side. Hello, good morning, welcome to hair day. I'm so excited, I just took some content. We got the thumbnail pic, we got a TikTok, we got options for the TikTok just in case I don't like one of them. And then I took some pictures because I just wanna make sure I document the change. I have a couple hours until I need to leave. I think I'm gonna have something to eat now. I put my contacts in this morning and it went a lot faster. The left eye was definitely a little bit trickier, but I'm basically keeping a note in my phone to see which contacts I find the most comfortable. I don't really notice a difference between yesterday's and today's, but we'll see how they wear. It's just so weird because like when I wear them in the apartment, everything is like so hyper sharp around me because everything's so close. It's kind of weird. And then it's kind of like blurry on the bottom. To be honest, it kind of makes me feel like I'm a little bit high. <laughs> because it's like so hyper focused, but then like kind of blurry on the outsides, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's um, a relatable comment, but thought I'd share because <laughs> that's how it feels. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have some breakfast. We're out of avocados, which is a tragedy. So I'll probably just have a bagel with some almond butter and some eggs on the side. I wanna make sure I have something in my stomach. Also because I'm gonna be wearing a mask all day at the salon. It sucks because like you want to wear makeup to look cute in your new hair, but there's just no point in that when you have to wear a mask. So I have very minimal makeup on. I did my eyebrows. I have a mascara on. And then my plan is to actually get super cute tomorrow with my new hair. That way I can document it then because there's just no point in doing it tonight. Also, by the time I get done with my appointment, it's going to be dark out. So all of it, it just doesn't make sense. So. Um, I came out to Langley early for my appointment because I wanted to grab a snack before. And normally I go to the Starbucks drive-thru, but I thought I'd switch it up and go to this place I've had saved on my Instagram for so long. It's called Down to 
like the number two earth and it's all vegan and so I got a matcha latte their oat milk unfortunately is not gluten-free so I grabbed it with coconut milk so we'll give that a go also to the interior is so cute obviously I'm not like you can sit in but I'm not really doing that with anywhere <laughs> right now so anyway when things are back to normal I definitely want to come back here and sit in because they're aesthetic and very cute but I also grabbed some treats I got a gluten-free everyday cookie I think that's what they call it I asked like what was gluten-free and whatever this was it looked good and then there's like a little you can't see and then I got a little like power peanut butter coconut ball just some good old snackies to have before my appointment the weather is so nice today the sun is shining and it's so beautiful it feels like spring and driving on the highway with the contacts in it was so great I also realized that I can wear my like fun sunglasses again when I drive because I have these and I can just wear them on top instead of needing my prescription sunglasses when I drive it's just so great it really it was so great I could see the mountains they were beautiful and snowy and it was just like this moment I was like wow this is awesome <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go and drive to my appointment and kind of sit and chill for a bit and then we will go in just got off of FaceTime with Brittany because I wanted to show her instead of sending her a picture and stuff and she said that she's pretty confident that it'll fade but I cannot believe how dark it is in the salon it didn't look as dark but like in this lighting it's crazy and what's crazy to think about is the fact that if I never like did highlights or dyed my hair in the first place like so 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 many years ago this is what my natural hair would be because these are my natural roots which is so crazy it's definitely going to take some getting used to but it already feels so healthy and so shiny which i'm just like you don't get with the blonde especially when you're doing it so often so i'm really excited i'm excited to see more so what it looks like tomorrow when i actually like get ready and put on makeup because i think that's going to be really the the moment of truth you know so cody just got off work so he's walking home right now and i want to film his reaction because he has never seen me with dark hair pretty much nobody has seen me with this dark of hair ever so I'm very curious to see his reaction Brittany has dark hair and recently went dark and I also sent her my inspo pics which if you guys are curious these are my inspo pics that I showed Jordy and basically what we did is we didn't do any lightener we did toning of some of the lighter bits as you guys can see throughout so it's really dimensional and then she went in with the darker color and it looks so good and it feels really good and I'm just I'm so excited for a change like I think I really really needed this and really wanted it and I'm really happy with it even though it's like super nerve-wracking I'm just really nervous to see how other people are gonna react not that it matters because it's my body my choice <laughs> but I'm very curious because I feel like I've branded myself as a blonde for as long as I can remember so I'm so curious what the general public has to say about it not that it matters but I'm curious what people will think I'll give you guys a bit of a close-up so you can see all of the tones and I specifically wore a light shirt underneath because I wanted to see what it would look like. So. so now we just wait for Cody to get home and I'm going to somehow capture his reaction. I've never filmed one of these before, so I'm a little nervous, um, but we'll see how it goes. Closed. One, two, three. Whoa! Holy shit! I know. That's a huge shade. <laughs> oh my god, it looks great though. Does it? Yes. Yeah, so, so you need to come here. You like it? Oh, yeah. you <laughs> You've never seen me this dark. Yeah. That we're cool. like. Nice. Wow, that's wild. I know, right? I look like a different person. Yeah, you do. It's weird. <laughs> but it's good. Do you actually like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely gonna, getting, gotta take some getting used to though. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning friends, happy Thursday. I woke up, had my coffee, and then put makeup on. I definitely Pinterest 
makeup for brunettes just to see like what would come up so I think it's gonna take some like getting used to when it comes to doing my makeup I feel like no matter how much bronzer I put on it doesn't really translate the same as when I was a little bit blonder so yeah it'll be kind of a learning curve and journey with the makeup style and colors and all that kind of stuff but I'm excited for it I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog because it's already so long and I really want to get this video up for you guys today so I can essentially go back on social media and show my face again so everyone can see the reveal and then I can be you know back on stories talk and chat and all that kind of stuff Snix has now joined us here do you want to say hi yeah, hi. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it all the way through. If you did, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'd really appreciate it. And the next video, because this video is going up during the week, the next video will be that financial video I have been talking and chatting about. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited, but I definitely wanted to get this video up first. So again, I can show myself on social media now. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye!